for the camera for a bit. Joe, I got some uh, new tires. I got these yesterday. Two of these. Yokohama's. 1100 for two of these and then the rest of these were recaps so as you can see it's uh what kind are they bridgestone recaps nice polished or shined up wheels should get some caps hub caps huh um so uh we will see how long the recaps will last versus original Yokohamas so uh, check it out it's a go-kart Budweiser tiny little thing now it's morning pick in it's driver's Terry what you doing picking weeds. picking weeds what are these grapes these are grapes, yeah. Yeah, look at that. And this is black nightshade. What is that? Poison. It's poison. Don't eat it. And dr don't drive like my brother. Keep some of that in your truck in case you want to get some bad tea. Some bad tea, huh? <laughs> <laughs> These are orange and, y and red? Yeah, orange and red tomatoes. Yeah, check it out, cherry tomatoes. We could grow these in the hyperbaric chamber too. You know that? Except we want to hook it up to our mouth you, so that no. it pumps in carbon dioxide. No, you know how the... Have you seen you grow these under pressure? They become like soccer ball size? Yeah, but... Right? You, you gotta, is, that, is that what the guy you said? You gotta pressurize it. The race the car go-karts, regular go-karts, four-wheelers. So, you got your regular use tires, and then you got your pavement-only tires. These are uh, collectors, uh, collectible. They used to be in a, in a little go-kart racetrack of a fleet of several cars, up to around 20 or so. So now uh, they're here at the compound and we just race them. Last night we were uh, driving them in the dark out here. It was a lot of fun. Sometimes you just have to meditate and enjoy the compound. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're enjoying it oh. with everybody. What? Why does everybody got to enjoy it? Because we... Uh, Look at this place. Looks big and strong. My mom's trying to kill it. Why? It didn't bear fruit. My mom does this. She takes this tree and, and makes it, it like that. This tree. So she just kills stuff. See, you're a good promoter. I don't know why. My mom's got so much promotions and he's been telling me that I talk too much. Right. He's like, now, why do you like all the attention? Like, this is, he likes this attention is too. Flower trees, these it needs to be trimmed, huh? They're just starting to bloom. <coughs> but these are gorgeous when they bloom. Get it, get it. <laughs> yeah, look at him. I had a cat just like him, Luigi. What's up, boy? He's so smart, huh? He is pretty smart. Last night, I almost ran him over with the go karts She's like, nope, not gonna die. Not today, Serge. <laughs> he like gets out of the way. Fungus growing on the tree. What do we need to know about the fungus? How to kill it. How to kill... You guys, comment below. Let us know how to kill the fungus. Look, is it vinegar? Look at these apples. We're trying to find something for breakfast. Because the apocalypse have come and we're stuck here on the compound. And uh, all we have is plums and apples and uh, the tomatoes you've seen earlier. What do you think? 
I think I can survive pretty good on this, huh? Yeah. All you haters teasing me for for uh, eating produce all this time. Well, guess what? I was preparing my body to survive the apocalypse. And now that the world has ended, everyone's dead. Yeah. And we just have fun. We just, you know, we just... When we dry these, we can turn them into prunes. Okay. Mm. So... Told you, told you, you should eat fruits and vegetables in addition to the delicious shish kebabs. You left the bucket. What are we gonna put our, this stuff in? We're like literally in, belly, in the, in the jungle. Yeah, we we'll just eat breakfast here, not at the house. Mm. You're right. Mm. Oh, I'm done with this one. Yeah, like that one. Like a parrot. Mm -hmm. You know, I always think about that. Um, how parrots or like birds, right? They think about the laws of success. Parrots do? Birds, yeah. They just take one bite and throw it away. They don't think there's starving children in Africa and that you gotta save food. No. You know, they just take one bite and they're like, ah, I'm gonna go taste another one. Right? right? The deer. They come and they take one bite of corn and then well, go take another bite of corn. This was, this had, uh, we had a big storm. Mm -hmm. There were thousands of apples on the ground. And the deer came and ate them all. So yeah, there's more plums than we could eat. Well, that one feels good. It's like the laws of like God and abundance, right? There's always enough. Like, like you think about that. Okay. If like, it's a miracle to have if it's like science can't explain how a soul becomes manifested in the fl flesh during conception, Jeez. right? Squirt it on me. <laughs> so, right, the science can't define that, so we gotta just accept that fact by faith. So if God would allow that to happen, wouldn't he, if he's a good God, say, hey, there's enough Fruit. produce for that physical body to get nourishment, mm -hmm. right? If he wouldn't, if that wouldn't happen, well, then he he's not to, that intelligent. But he told everybody to spread out is. because when too many people get in one area, the resources in that area go down. Wow. Mm -hmm. What is this stuff? Is this like, it's like a damn bug that. A bug that died. Died on there. Or something. Butterfly. Like it's just a wood parasite or something. See, we got fungus on among us. Let's pick this one. Oh, there's a bug crawling on me. Mm -hmm. They gotta eat too. Come on, kitty, eat some vegetables. <laughs> you can listen. See the chirping? It's a chipmunk telling the other chipmunks that there's a cat in there. Oh, really? Yeah. They're talking about us. Chipmunk patrol. Oh, Go get him, boy. Get what was wrong with it? It's a double. Well, I don't, I don't have a title, but it's an all wheel drive V8 Jetta, which there's only a 200 in America. What? Yeah, it's rare as fuck. It is a V8, huh? Look at that. And I have another, I have another Jetta that probably could be used for parts. W8 for motion. What? Yeah. Oh, it's a Passat. A Passat. Passat W8. I thought it was good. Yeah. We should pull it out and put it in the garage. Get it out of the grass. Well, this guy, this guy used it for parts. He said, he said there was only, this is what he told me. He said there was only 200 in America or something. And he said he owned two of them. Or th no, he owned three of them. And this was his second parts car. And I think the motor needed a head gasket or something. But that means it's like fixable, but I, I didn't get a title with it. So 
He said he got it from some. Yeah, interesting. He, he got it from some towing company or something that impounded it. Let's get the VIN number. Came, picked it up. Let's get the VIN number. Check it out. There it is. O2. Very interesting car. Fake wood. Definitely fantastic plastic. But a wood shift knob, huh? Let's kind of grind it down. Interesting car. W8. I wonder how much horsepower these get, things have. Had no idea. The Dodge coming still here. When the priest went to Jerusalem, he what? He took, took dirt from Mount Golgotha, where Jesus was crucified, and he brought it back. And then he put it in these little brass tubes, like right next to the gutter there. Uh huh. That little one foot tube. Yeah, for like a blessing? Yeah, there's one right there over that window, too. But he put them around the outside of every building all over the place. And it was basically filled with dirt, supposedly oh, yeah. saturated with the blood of Jesus, you know what I mean? Oh. So that was cool. the, the little religious significance behind that. Huh. So, my Dodge Ram is resting next to Jesus. When will we resurrect it? Yes. Today? You want to try to start it? We can go start it. We can go How about this 4.2 A8? Yeah, this is also the same drivetrain as that Jetta. This one I have a title for and it's ready to go. If anybody wants to buy it. This one actually starts and runs. Look, it's got that sunroof. The, the, the solar panel, solar battery, battery maintainer. Solar sunroof. This one needs a solenoid in the transmission and a timing belt on the motor or timing chain and some tires. Yeah. How about the Yukon? Uh, no title. So what's what's wrong with it? What does it run? The motor blew up. The is good. The rest of the car has got good body panel. I was thinking about finding one that was in a front end rack and then using the front clip because these front clips go for like six, seven hundred bucks. So, yeah, yeah. How about those totes? What do you got in those? Nothing, there was dirt in there that was there when I got here. Tubes of blessing. Dirt from Golgo. We should go there and get new ones. I'll go there. Hey, there's another one up there. See? Another one over there. I didn't know what they were. They were all around my house too. And I was like, what the heck is this? Yeah, you have like 50 of them in my house. But... Huh. No idea what they were. They were all inside this house too. Uh -huh. That one. They, he stuck them like... I don't know, he thought that if he if he made a box on the earth with the 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 dirt from Mount Golgotha that was like holy ground, you know, that he could keep demons away. Like the guy was like super paranoid about demons entering his house. Huh. So I can imagine there's probably some in the church too. But we can get a banana and some toast. The pears are just tiny yet. There's a lot of them. They're gonna get so heavy that I can't believe those branches would not fall in. What if I just park the motor home right here and live in it? Dexter. What's up, Dexter? Morning. Get over here. 
I think that's a good spot. What do you think? I could drive it up through there. I don't know. Okay, maybe not. Just wait till I, I stick my guard guard line on you. Yeah, what a interesting place Terry's got here. Oh, there he is. I keep wanting to say Luigi because he looks like my old cat Luigi. You get a kitty. He understands Russian, see? That's a Russian cat call. What's up, boy? Keeping an eye on those chipmunks? Look, oh, he's been in a fight. What is this? Huh? Where, what's that from? Here, let's. I got my camera rolling. Okay, so we're having some. No, it's okay. Look how I look. So we're having some natural, supernatural phenomenon. So you're saying you see stuff in there sometimes. No, I'm saying that I saw it every single time from the first time I ever came here until, until just a couple of days ago, I noticed it wasn't there. Huh. I'm telling you, an angel, yeah, a statue. An angel statue. And Terry says that someone came, they dreamed of an yeah, angel. The bishop that helped build this place said that he, he had a dream before he ever stood foot on this place that he saw an angel right in the middle of there. And then when he came up the driveway the first time he saw it. So they decided to build one. Yeah, but they built that. They, they, they built that there and then. Build the, that housing. The, Where I stood pastor, on June 7th right. and, and it, it was look, just like it that. It didn't look anything supernatural. I mean, it no, looked like right. a plain it's like old a stone and Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. Plain so, old concrete. so you're saying June but, 7th, there was something there. But the weird thing is. And I, I have a picture of, not, thing is, I've been of me standing there. A stone concrete <laughs> four foot tall angel. Isn't that crazy? Years. I've been trying to find one. Uh, if I see one Something's going there. on here with this property. Some supernatural phenomenon. You know, he started going out and hunting and going in the woods, and and eventually he just he just Disappeared. migrated out into the forest. Yeah, fox and or I, coyote got him probably. No, I don't think That's he's dead. I don't think he's. I thought he was dead a million times. Mm -hmm. And then and then I'll go three four months. I won't see him, and all of a sudden he'll just show up one day. Like and I, I saw him about three <laughs> four weeks ago. But well, I've seen a bushy, a really bushy tailed gold cat, and I don't know if it's this one or not. But there yeah. has been one I saw. I'll see him around here. Uh, yeah, maybe they, a couple of weeks ago I saw him. I pulled up and he ran this yeah, way. Yeah, they'll run around here. There's, There's so many cats somewhere. Yeah. I don't want to bring him here if you don't want me to have him, but I wouldn't bring him in the house. I I'd probably set up a litter box. Oh, I got I got extra cats. There's they patrol all around. I got four or five of them. Mm. Uh, five if you count the one that I only see once a month. But but those cats, I'm, I'm not kidding you. I kitty, have, are you an angel kitty? Let's go stand where the angel stands. Maybe we'll get an angel on video. Woo! Hello. You're an angel cat. Is there such a thing? Can cats be angels? Hey there. Angel cat. <laughs> right where he's sitting, huh? Okay, you see some angel? Yeah, I've been trying to find one that's like four feet tall with wings on it. Come here, boy. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm... Supernatural phenomenon happening. It, it, it happened. It happened, huh? It happened. Huh. Hey, if you get if you get uh, a hankering for some plums, the plums are starting to get ripe in the orchard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's it's like that movie uh, Angels in the Outfield, huh? Isn't that interesting? Uh, you, you don't think it's for adults, but take a video of me in one. And get the paperwork. Go go to town to get the paperwork. Check it out. It's Big Red, the first tow truck. Still alive, huh? Sometimes we got the shifter from the Honda Accord. Man, strobe light on. This thing is really. Messy. <laughs> How does the odometer work? Um, yeah. Yeah, but remember, this is the second cab. So this, this is like 
This, this thing's got this, like a million miles on it. What is yeah, that? The, the back PTO half, light? I, the, I think it's at least 850,000, if not a million. Yeah. Is that the PTO light or what? Yep, PTO light, and then this is the e-brake light, and that's the... What is it? Light. There's, no, there's an there's a e-brake light, and then there's another brake light, and then there's a PTO light. PTO and cruise control. Right. Oh, that's a four. This is a four by four differential lock, actually. So this will lock in the front end, and this will lock in the transfer case. So, posi why, lock. Why do you need a posi lock front end? You got? Or? Well, this this locks in the the front diff. Yeah. Uh oh. So. Yeah, and I was you, having problems every time I needed the four-wheel drive. The vacuum, the vacuum lock would never work. Oh, okay. So you did the. So it's a I, manual. Shifter. I see. These would go, would go up, huh? They used to. I haven't used it in twenty years, but yeah. that was the original intent, though. I would I would like to do that on more tow trucks. Is have a light bar that. Yeah, a light bar that up. doesn't move with the bed because they always put them on the bed, and then you have nothing but problems with the wiring on the light bar all the time. So if you just move the light bar so it's kind of fixed, then it, you know, you don't have to put it up and down every time, but if you want to. This is how you know. With If the DOT number is below 2 million, this is how you know it's not flip-flop crew. Because the new DOT numbers are above 2 million. All right. This, this means the DOT numbers come out, they're all in order. Oh, the lowest okay. DOT number, I don't know. One. <laughs> uh, right. This so. The first one that's a DOT. So, uh, you know, if it's uh, if, if it's less than two million, I wonder what the current DO, DOT number is. You know what I'm saying? Right. One nine eight is, uh, you know, way before two million. So. Oh, there's security cat. Get it, get it, get it, get it. So it I just means it's a established company. I wonder if it, like a, a baby. Oh. not a fly by night thing. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Maybe he responds to bird calls. Kaka, kaka. <laughs> Let's grab a couple more tomatoes. So when's Bubba coming? Terry's posing for our Instagram picture, <laughs> showing off his mugs. Terry makes these mugs. Check it out. Huh? It's really into Renaissance things. Yes, Renaissance. This one you made in Apple Valley when you were my neighbor, right? Is that bits of brass in it? Mm, goldish stuff, yeah. Goldish stuff. So, Terry, smile for the camera for a bit. Oh. Tell us about this. This is one yeah. of the things, right? What are the numbers are on it? Yeah, I don't know what he inscribed with this, but this is full of dirt from Mount Golgotha. On they're all over the property. Yeah, they're everywhere. That we filmed. I don't know why. But it's crazy. So that's what it looks like. Just the tube. So you broke one open and you seen the dirt? No? Oh, yeah. You just... Yeah, it's dirt, but I didn't know what it was. So. Uh, it's a thing not loading so well. Yeah, nice tapestry here. Of the Last Supper. Let's see what else Terry has. So you got these mugs. Uh, he spun these on a lathe. Yeah, another one. We should do a woodworking shop here. A couple mushroom shaped mugs. We got in this one nothing so that's what it likes to do when he's not towing cars so uh, there's guys that sell these mugs at the Renaissance festival <laughs> it's got a sword Another mug. And so uh, Terry thought it'd be fun to just make some mugs for yourself. And since we can, this one, I remember when he was making it, he wanted to um, just make a window. 
so I made an epoxy window. It looks like that. Silver cups. And more silver. Anyway, so yeah. And the view from the yard is like that. We can see down in the valley through the trees. It's the coolest thing. Cool for kids. It's for adults. Have you? Do you ride that thing? I never ride it. Today's yeah. a good day to start. Yeah. Isn't ridden it yet because we haven't had it running. But ah. if we get it running. Okay. High five, man. It's running. High five. Okay, let's see the sound. have to give it a little bit of gas when you're going. You see how we revved it a little bit? Turning. How was it though? That was fun? Yeah. Kind of scary. Kind of scary? Yeah. He said he's kind of scared. Here, let's try it. Yeah, there's, there's not much space for your feet. No, I do my butt back six inches and then go. There you go. That's what I do. Uh, okay, Phil. I don't know. He could crash this one. It's really hard to do that. <laughs> it's like a little stunt bike. He's trying tricks already. Let's build a, 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 a ramp so we can jump. Running pretty good, huh? Yeah, it starts up. And yeah, careful when you're uh, standing up like that. It's... Was it pretty easy for you to like sit up? Gotta give it a tiny bit of gas. But I think this is supposed to be an adjuster. 
That's so you can turn it down when there's kids on it. Really? Is it yeah. turned down already? It's like no. a, it's a limiter. Right? Well, it limits how far it goes back, yeah. So it's Except the whole thing twists, so. Yeah, so you gotta clamp it down. Oh, it's missing the screws in there. Right? No, tighten those down yeah, so the whole thing is. Oh, you can still squeeze the brakes with it all that. Yeah. You want to ride again, buddy? Hmm? You, know, you, you did ready. a really good job. You did awesome. Let's buy one and burn it out one day. Great. company as a driver, owner, operator and such, visit his page at facebook.com slash search the car hauler and send him a message.